All right, I want to look at one more set of examples on uh, section 1.5. So I'm going to look at problem 46 on page 122. And instead of asking us to describe the transformations given the transformed function, we now have to give the transformed function given the transformations. So we're supposed to transform f of x here, which is defined to be square root of x, and we're supposed to shift this left three units. So shift this left by three. So this is a horizontal transformation. So our result should look something like f of x plus or minus 3. It's going to be square root of x plus or minus 3. Now since it's horizontal, the transformation is exactly the opposite of what you'd think. So I thought I would think that left would mean negative. So that means since it's horizontal, left is actually plus. And this right here is our answer. This is going to shift the graph of square root of x left by 3, graphing square root of x plus 3. If you look at number 48, we're again dealing with square root of x. But in this case, we're reflecting this graph about the y-axis. So the y-axis is the vertical axis. To do, so to do this reflection, we're going to be flipping left to right and right to left. So that's a horizontal reflection. So with a horizontal reflection, we're going to be operating inside the parentheses here. We're going to be operating on x. So we're going to be as close to x as possible. And reflections are simply just multiplying by negative 1, or sticking a negative in front. And since it's horizontal, we want the negative to be as close to the x as we can get. And this is it. This is going to be reflecting the graph of square root of x, which looks about something like this. This is going to have the general shape of like this, which is taking this shape of square root x and flipping it over the y-axis.